Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. Got a quick little job today. Customer dropped off commercial mower. He's replacing the uh, stack spindle. He sheared off the head to one of the bolts in the taper lock pulley. So he just decided to drop it off and have me do it. First, I was just going to get the pulley off. Let him go ahead and drop off the new spindle. I'll go ahead and put it all together again. So, what he did was he put an impact on it. If you don't understand how taper lock pulleys work, there's two threaded holes and two clearance holes. They go through the clearance holes and thread into the pulley itself to draw the taper in. Then you put them through the, ta the tapped holes to push, the, uh, push it apart. And a lot of people use impacts on them. And you can get away with that on the bigger ones. But we're talking, you know, that's the size of bolt that was in there. So it right <laughs> snapped it off pretty handedly. So I'm hoping I can just get this off. Because there sh shouldn't be any real tension underneath it. I gave it a few, you know, taps with soft hammer. So I'm hoping it should come right out. And yeah, I should have a pair of flat jaw vice grips, but these were what, what's close. Ugh, there we go. And that was a grade 8 bolt, too. He said he was using a quarter inch impact. So now, the only thing retaining the pulley is this tapered part. Uh, you can wedge them. You can put a wedge in there, certainly. I'm going to try two new bolts after I put it into the correct hole. There we go. Because on these smaller bolts, what I like to do is cinch them up, give it a tap with the hammer. Cinch it up, give it a tap with the hammer. You could use a puller too, but this uh, gap here is pretty small. Run these guys down. Get my wrench. Not sure if my arm's in the way. And you might hear some uh, thunder in the background. But <clears throat> you know the hot jobs. Get a little snuggy poo on there. little taps a little bit more this isn't the easiest spot to get my hands in Let me go grab something to maybe hold that pulley a little better. I'll bring you back. Okay, I can't really find anything. I'm just going to uh, uh, Kung Fu Battle Grip. There we go. There we go. And it would have helped if I had my microphone clipped to me. There we go. Sorry about that. Once these break free. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yay. We have victory. Well, not quite. So I get this part off, which typically isn't all that hard. And I always, every time I mess with a taper lock pulley, off, off you. I 
I always replace the uh, all the hardware in it. So there we go. There we go. So if you didn't know, all it is is this is a slight taper with a split in it. And as it's uh, compressed down in there, this split shrinks and clips onto that shaft. Uh, yeah, right there. So now, these bolts are rusted. They're more than likely going to break. Actually, I kind of hope they do. I'm going to replace all the bolts too. So give me one second. Let me go grab my small impact. Okay, I'm back. I know, not very professional. There's one, two, three, four. And what you'll commonly find when you replace spindles. This one's not so bad. It blew the grease bushing out the back. Is when they start to go bad in a desperation to try to get a few more days out of it, they pump way, way too much grease in them. As you can tell, this one's this guy's a little stiff. It's got a chunky part in it. It's okay. Uh, I'm not probably going to show you putting the spindle back in. It's just going to be me putting four bolts in there and putting four new nuts on there. But I do recommend uh, replacing all the hardware when you do spindles. Or anything on a mower deck, because they always get corroded. And there's the new guy that will be replacing it. And we're good to go. So yeah, that's a quick little job. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.